Well, hello, hello there. Welcome back to Cry of Fear. I'm going to try to finish the game today. We are on chapter... 7. And there's 8 chapters, so we're close to the end. We will find it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's, there was a door, I remember now. There was a door in one of these rooms here to the left. This one. There you go. That's the back door. That's the back door. Right, we are out. Oh, that's the telescope. I was like, is that a person? Find your way home. <clears throat> so we took a train. We went through this train station. The train crashed. And then we went through the forest. And now we reached the mental hospital. But I guess we're close to... Simon's uh, neighborhood or house or whatever or street. I hope so at least. They're giving us revolver ammo. Well, I don't have a revolver. Okay, this bar looks kind of chill and a lot of lights, unusual. <laughs> more friendly than usual for sure oh a lake are we gonna have to take a boat oh we have okay interesting we got shot on the shoulder Lash out there by the doctor. I hear some splashes. Ooh, this is a very good transitional ambience area. They calm before the storm. I'm not sure if I'm expecting something nicely when I arrive home or something grotesque. Hello, why are we playing my summer car? Remember this part in Silent Hill? Oh, true, I, I forgot about that. Or RE4 with the harpoons. <laughs> uh. What is an uh, what is that what is the name of a monster? Jesse? Nessie? <laughs> yeah. Silent Hill Lake. Holy shit, I forgot about that part of the game. Is Maria in the boat with you? When you go to the other side of Silent Hill? To the hotel? Okay. Interesting. Let me check something. Yeah. Okay, are you guys ready for Cry of Fear finale? We're finishing the game today. Revolver. <laughs> Will I take the melee weapon? No. I'm gonna save. Yo, how's it going, Greedy Pie? Welcome. I saw you playing Alan Wake yesterday. How how did you like it? Oh! What the fuck? Oh, run! Just run, just run. I'm not even gonna fight. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. They're trying to ambush me. They're trying to ambush me. Oh shit. Go down. I can see shit, man! One second, guys. I need to reload, too. But I have two bullets. They gave us ammo for the other pistol. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Music, music. I'm gonna reload. No, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna reload. I'm not sure if I should reload or not. Uh, you pray with a hyena and a whale? What do you get? What the hell? 
had a lot of fun playing Scape that you woke last night. This game is hilarious. Ah, I miss, I miss having the other pistol now. Hello, <laughs> Wake 2 is a very different game from the first game. Starts off a bit slow, but gets a lot better in Chapter 2. Feels like Resident Evil Remakes. Ooh. I think they saw the success of Resident Evil 2 Remake on 2019. That was four years ago. And there's a lot of games trying to copy that formula. Makes sense. I think Resident Evil 2 Remake mark a new trend in gaming. I should take the baton to kill these guys. These guys are so easy to kill with baton. And I'm gonna run out of ammo and then... Oof. Are you going to try it out? No. I'm not gonna play Alan Wake 2. Ever. In my life. You know what I'm gonna do guys? I'm gonna keep going. And JOLO. And I hope I... What the fuck? Um the fuck? Um I'm falling and I can't get up I hope I find new ammo soon. Go through the manhole. In the manhole you will find <laughs> Ankle Ben for you all. I mostly buy from GOG and each. I feel you. Uh, oh shit, I'm losing health. I'm drowning. Uh, here we go. Bro, this section is made so you drown. I see you, game. Oh my god. Underwater levels. Got a lot of Okay, I'm gonna recover some stamina. From each.io, I got a Granny Trilogy. And on GOG, I have like, I don't know, 40, 50 games. But I'm still a Steam sucker. I just think Steam offers better customer service. And I understand you don't actually own the games and you cannot download them. You have DRM. But I'll get that little price they gave, they gave in the box. Especially after all the support he's been doing for. All the support uh, Gabe has been doing for Linux. Yeah, Granny. I want to play Granny soon. But there's so many games I want to play, so... I don't remember where I came from. <laughs> this is a problem, guys. Because it's a circle I was rotating. I don't know which way I came from. So there's one way, two ways, three ways. <laughs> this is Jax. I think I came through there, so I'm gonna go this way. Oh, fuck. Bro! I'm gonna die, man! <laughs> Fucking hell. I mean, GG's team for making Linux look viable. Yeah, I'm Proton. Don't forget about Proton. The door is locked. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. I need to pay attention here. Um, door is locked. So I came through the other way. I need to swim fast. Okay, and now I think I have to go left. <laughs> Never forget, Gavin. Never forget. Plus, all the conference, all the good press gives to Linux. You know, every time he, he makes uh, any... He talks about gaming, he always talks about... Defending Linux, which is, which is like activism in some way, and I respect that. And I support that too. Well, every day you see a big company talking that way. 
Bro, I don't know this part is... I, I wasn't paying attention enough to do this part. I should have paid attention on the directions a lot better. I thought this was going to be a lot more straightforward. Oops. Oops. But I'm not, now I'm paying more attention, so... I'm still don't know if I'm going backwards or not, but... We need to find a key and then go back to their manhole. I may be going back to the beginning. Oh my god. <laughs> and there's a CE. The stamina rec the recovery sucks, to be honest, in this game. It should be faster because usually... Hmm, usually when you are in combat... You will use your stamina, but the combat will be over before the stamina is over. So you should recover it faster. Um. Um, what? Uh, what? Is this a dead end? Well, I'm dead. What was the last time I saved? I want to die, I want to die. Okay. Let's reload. Come on, man. I'll never leave you. As long as you say to, as you remember to save. Save! Bro, where the hell is the key? Oh. Oh, wait, what? This is a new area. This is a new area. We made it somewhere. Simon is stripping hard, man. <laughs> the key is there and there's a door. Is the chainsaw guy gonna appear or something? Inventory full. Fuck. Freud! Who predictable? Ah, I'm dead! Okay, I need to get the key though. So I need to go there very quick. Drop. Drop. Can I. Can I use the morphine on the water? <laughs> I did it. I, I jumped like a dolphin and I used it. Okay. <laughs> okay. What the hell is happening? My game is. My game just crashed. <laughs> no! The game didn't like I used the morphine like that. The game was like, you tricked me. There's no way. Okay, fuck you. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh, I think I was pressing too many buttons. I was like trying to use like that jumping. I used like, I was like pressing too many. It's easier to see things when you are expecting than when you're playing. Because when you're playing, your brain is um, taking into consideration a lot more factors, a lot more inputs. You have to process a lot more information than the one you are just watching. When you're just watching, you don't have to control the character. You don't have to think about the game, the puzzles, the, where to go, etc. When you're a spectator, then you're just watching the screen. So you, you pick up on more elements. <clears throat> Oh, here we go. What's this song reminds me of like in Final Fantasy X when you're preparing for when you are in the, the Albed base. It's kind of similar. <clears throat> right, we got the key. Here we go. I'm just gonna go for it. Right, we got it. See where key. The door is not unlocked. You got the morphine. 
and we're good to go. Mm, gotta reload. Who's in front of my nose this whole time? Yes. Right there. What? I hear birds. Happiness. Birds in the sky, and I'm feeling good. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun. How are you guys feeling today? I hope you're feeling fantastic. Saturday, 28th of October. Oh, oh, I am Kirkyville now, my hometown. I hope everything is fine here. Okay, we're back home, guys. Everything is fine. Uh, we have a Halloween in three days. And I'm doing a special stream. More information coming tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll post the whole schedule for Halloween. Finally some cartoons and candy and the birds are singing. Yeah. Hello neighbors. Hello. Everyone friendly. All good, thanks. How are you? Happy Saturday. I had like a rough knife because I had like. Bro, what the fuck? Halloween kid. Halloween kid dressing in the for Halloween. Fucking dead. Bro, do you guys think that's a problem? Shotgun. How many shells? I don't know about that, guys. I don't know about that. I wish I had my fucking bag, to be honest. Uh, has that ever happened that... Because it's Halloween, you know, people try to actually commit a crime, playing in disguise. And then other people confuse it and get... There's an accident because of that? I don't know. It sounds like a very probable thing to happen. But yeah, this this night, I, uh, I don't know why, I, I was like waking up 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Like heart burns, heart burns, a lot of pain. I was like, Ugh, why is this happening to me? But then I managed to sleep up a bit more, woke up, took a shower, boom, boom, here we go. And I feel a little better now. Neighbors, hello. Ouch. Ouch. One morphing? Wait, what? Didn't I have like three of them? Okay, I'm dropping this fucking gun. I thought I had three morphings. Yeah, I stopped. Now I'm feeling better. No, no more pain. This looks like my parents place, lol. Polygon's parents? Oh. <laughs> Stalker. I think it's like, like a normal Swedish street. I mean, looks like it, right? This looks like your average neighborhood, kind of, in some countries. Some countries are different than other when it comes to <clears throat> neighborhoods and residential places, shopping places, etc. Sorry you had a rough night, sounds horrific. Eh, it's okay, it's like. It happens sometimes. I'm not sure if I have like any stomach problem or something. Oh. Oh shit. They're giving us a lot of weapons, guys. They're giving us a lot of weapons. Wait. They give us a shotgun. A rifle. I may go back for the shotgun to be honest. But it says. Three max. Do you have three max? It says three times, but then it says plus zero. No, it doesn't, it doesn't have any max. What is my house? Which way is my house, Simon? I'm gonna go up for the shotgun. Before they move to apartments. I also get strong problems. It's not fun. Yeah. I should buy those like little 
packets of like to to heal you from the from the herpins. They help a lot. Holy nine shotgun shells. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go, bro. Let's put the shotgun on three, the pistol on two. There right, we go. We have a lot of bullets. We have no heals though, but we should be fine. But yeah. I actually like don't like taking any medicines, any medicines. I'm very stubborn, I guess. <laughs> Which is not good because sometimes it's a lot of pain. I mean, if you take something, it will help a lot. <clears throat> but yeah. Oh, this is my house. Mom? I'm back home, Mom. Hello? Shit. Hello? Why are there magazines on my bedroom, bro? Mom, are you okay? The fuck? Stop right there, terminal. Stop where it is as hell. Fair enough, I can go without them these days. Yeah, like, if it's a lot. If it's a lot, I will take something for sure. But it has to be like someone is shooting from the sky, isn't it? Oh, see. Well, when I told you a pretty pad that this game feels like Silent Hill first person, I wasn't lying. Like that monster is straight up a copy from Silent Hill. <laughs> oh my god, this game is giving us so much so much ammo. I feel like I should pick one weapon and carry heals. But I get a fever, I'm taking something, fuck melting my brain more than I already is. <laughs> exactly. If it's like I think there is a threshold, right? Like I'll I will try not to take anything antibiotic specially. Or like uh aspirin or stuff like that, you know? Oh we're dropping the pistol, fuck it. Shotgun only. Who's next? It's like, I, I like having heals. Looks great. Th this bar is the most chill of the game, to be honest. Oh, Michael Myers is back. The, they, there has been some very creepy parts in this game. Neighborhood! We're playing Counter Strike now? Uh, local news uh, ch a teenager with a gun because of mass shooting in his neighborhood. I should not make jokes about that. Because... Yeah. That actually happened. Uh, uh... But. Like how the game is framed is that we don't know if Simon is tripping or if he's mental ill and he's seeing uh, uh, monsters when there's nothing. But I'm gonna go back for the rifle. Oh my god, I left the rifle so far back. I'm gonna take just the pistol. Just the pistol. Eh? The pistol should be here. Correct. Gonna heal. Uh, regular old neighborhood arguments in North Street. Start with an axe and end with hunting rifles. Holy shit. Stop making noise! Oh shit! Escalating. Garage. Oh, these people are dropping guns. I should pick them up. <clears throat> Let's check this. I, what I like about this game a lot is that the environments are very, like, I don't know, normal, daily, daily, day life. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like video gaming. 
Because in Silent Hill, sure, you are in a town and there's buildings and stuff, but it doesn't feel realistic. I mean, a little bit. The hospital does, the hotel does a little. But this one, it feels so much like... I don't know. It feels more real, let's say. Plus the dialogue and the Simon Simon's uh, attitude and how he interact with other characters. It's also very you know, like a teenager would be. I really like that about this game. <laughs> it doesn't give you like the video gamey kind of vibe. It feels like it's, it's written with the uh, people very down to earth. Because a lot of times you play like a, you're watching a movie or you're playing a video game and it's like you hear a dialogue and it's like bro no one will say that or no one will do that but simon is like that's actually what i will say in that situation you know like he's cursing he's asking people what is happening oh finally home oh i hope mom's okay mom's spaghetti put your weapon down man What is my home? This one? Is my bike? Hell yeah! I have, this is my home actually. Mom? Mom? Where are you? Mom? Mom? You have Fructis? Garnier? These guys use very expensive uh, shampoo. Nice. Mom? Oh, nice living room. I like the paintings. Conditioner, yeah. Dude, there is a DVD. Maybe we have to watch something. Oh, we can save here. I hear a noise. Why is that noise? Oh, it's a clock. Any food, mom? Any cold pizza? No. Always, isn't it weird that he always mentioned his mom but never his father? Sick pillows, bro. Those are those are some Lara Croft titties textures right there. Holy polygons. Oh, a note, a diary. What the hell? That's... Bro, is this game hatred now? Simon, we have to fight ourselves. In a wheelchair. That is really poetic, I would say. We have to fight the evil Simon. So remember guys, we had a car accident, like they showed us at the, at the, as the beginning of the game. I cannot move too fast. I, I can only move like, slowly. It's kind of a hard to control to be honest. Only three max, we got this. Not doing the best turn here, to be honest. Hmm. Kind of doing it. I don't think I've ever been on a wheelchair. I could try though. I have one in my house. <laughs> really? While well, holding a gun. <laughs> Let's do a wheelie on a wheelchair, holding a gun. Don't do that at home, boys. 
We're still on chapter 7, right? So... Maybe this is the end of chapter 7. But yeah. Oh. Mm, I should probably reload. Hmm, interesting. Can I make this turn? Oh! Ouch, my knee! I dropped my croissant. <laughs> oh, yeah. After this fight, I'll try to explain what I have caught of this story so far. This is very cryptic. I'm not gonna reload this time. My health. Fucking hell. He dropped out my health there. Eh? The machine gun. Stop right. Next time I see him, I'm just gonna pop, 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 you know? And load the fucking mag on him. Oh shit, I, I turned too much. gonna appear on that corner right I need to keep my aim steady which is not easy on a fucking wheelchair let me tell you Simon holy shit that scared me I want to read what was written on the diary though Conclusion. I stopped myself from doing it. From committing suicide. But it didn't only leave me alive. It also left two police officers dead. I killed them. Shot them both. This was not supposed to happen. Doctors testified that I was having a psychosis. Which means that my punishment won't be too hard for me to bear. I have to spend the rest of my life in a mental hospital. Where nurses and doctors are taking care of me. They let me finish my book. And uh, it has helped me. A lot. I wrote a happy ending. Just for myself. I feel better now. I am more at peace with myself. Even though I'm still stuck in this wheelchair. But, uh... I accept that now. I can never forgive myself for shooting those two officers, though. But I have so many supportive people around me now, so... I, I think I will be okay. Dr. Purnell is mentoring me and is... Watching my progress. I am lucky to have him. Sophie mm. visits me every once in a while. When the doctors let her, that is. They still think her visits are too destabilizing for me and that it hinders my progress. Mm. I keep on telling her how sorry I am for making her life miserable every time she's here. She, ju she just laughs a bit and tells me to stop being so silly. But I can see the damage I've done to her in her eyes every time she looks at me. She found a new friend. One who is there for her and treats her right. I'm happy for her. Though I'll miss the good moments we've had. Knowing that they'll never come back. Mm -hmm. I think this is a good time to close this book. It has changed my life forever. The end. Is this really the end? end? Oh. GG! Credits! I thought we had one more chapter to go. I guess not. That was cool, huh? Okay, so... 
he didn't commit suicide which you can't consider a good ending but he killed two cops in the process because i guess they were trying to stop him or something wow um and that this this whole final note very sun hill like ending <laughs> um so 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 i'm guessing he wrote on this book so writing helping with coping from the from the accident and the wheelchair accident and and i don't think simon problems all comes from there i think he carries some kind of mental illness i'm not sure if he had psychosis before depressions anxiety i have no idea but uh i think it, it magnifies it, it makes it a lot bigger the the whole wheelchair accident and everything it's both it, it was combined i think um but i guess he created this parallel story hmm, interesting and then he was going through some hallucinations fever dream whatever you want to call it which is the game you play through <laughs> um where sophie dies like i guess a lot of his fears a lot of his uh anger issues and fears come true materialize in his mind i guess um like sophie dying for example and then on the book she's actually visiting him and being nice to him etc or the doctor he like simon knows the doctor wants to help him but he's he's the uh, ultra ego he's part side i guess you can call it holds some resentment for him i guess which is understandable like at the end of the day, you don't want to be in that situation. It's like where your life carried carried you, I guess. Not by your own decisions or which is like bad luck. Sometimes you don't control your own life. Sometimes you go out the street and you can you get fucking run by a car or something. That was not your fault. And then you had to carry out your whole life and uh, the misery and the the sadness that that comes from bad episodes, unlucky events i guess you can call it uh this game was uh really good i really liked it um i i, I was gonna give it like an eight at the, the first two three chapters for me this game was a nine and then the whole i think it was chapter four the the design of chapter four was atrocious it was so bad with the fees and everything it, it over complicates things for no reason like the game is having such a good pace things are constantly changing new maps new designs new enemies new puzzles new everything <clears throat> and then no now you have to backtrack which is a very weird door that is very uh un, unintuitive i will say and then for me the game dropped a whole point there <clears throat> and this whole ending is a little bit anticlimactic it was kind of quick, I guess. Thank you for playing. We unlock some skins. Blah, 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 blah. Secret package. Nightmare mode. Unlock book page one and four. Doctor mode. Oh, yeah, so there's a lot of mods for this game. There is also uh, custom campaigns. And there are also multiplayer mode. But I guess this game is dead in, in terms of that. I'm not sure. This game is 10 years old now, so I'm not sure if someone plays. Maybe some group of small people, but yeah. Um, the story is very good. The characters are cool too. Simon is very... I like Simon. You can see he's both sides when he's on the wheelchair and then when he's on the streets. Um, the thing I like the most about this game, to be honest, is the soundtrack for the most part because sometimes it's a bit overwhelming and annoying when nothing is happening it's very loud and especially special remark for the sound effects the sound effects on these games holy holy masterpiece <clears throat> in that aspect it's like every time you are in a situation you can hear like crackings like 
it's so it, it surrounds you it feels so immersive it's insanely good and there are so many creepy sounds in this game it's not similar to Silent Hill these guys took a lot of uh, inspiration from that for sure so creepy there were a lot of times where I shit my pants it was like this sheer horror congratulations on beating the game mode does look good sounds like it's worth checking out for sure it's free to play on steam so <laughs> a lot of work put into this for free so yeah if i had to rate this game one to ten like i usually do i'll give a cry of fear a high seven but as i always say if it doesn't reach an eight i'll round the note and make it a whole like a whole point and for me this game is a 7 out of 10 7 out of 10 high 7 but not an 8 so I always leave it on the on, on that there on that note but yeah well that was a quick stream it was an hour so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the stream to finish this game and then tonight I'll come back and do more horror games we're gonna start a whole new series I have to decide yet what game. But yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you, Greedy Pie. 7 uh, out of 10 for a free game. Amazing. 7 out of 10 for a free game that is uh, 8 hours long. 8 to 10 hours long. And has re replayability. If you want to replay the game on a harder difficulty with a new mode, unlocking more pages of the book, etc., etc., you can do that. So yeah. Let's go over death. His play Resident Evil 1. Death 24. Let's go over there. Uh, have a wonderful evening. It'll be good. I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, have a good rest of the day. I'll probably be back tonight though. Oh yeah. Bye bye.